Some Flagstaff students are headed back to in-person schooling this week, and with that came new policies to stop the spread of COVID. NAZ Today's Aaron Vitito was able to see firsthand what FUSD is doing to make sure students are staying as safe as possible. It's been a year in the making. Although students are just now getting back to the classroom, FUSD Communications Director Zachary Fountain says they've been preparing for this week since the beginning of the pandemic. And with it came some challenges, but Thomas Elementary Principal Jimmy Biggs says with the help of everyone coming together, it's working out pretty well. Honestly, it hasn't been that much of a challenge, which has been great for us. What you actually see is that students are being very proactive in terms of maintaining their safety. They want to be back in school. We want them back in school. A big part of keeping students in school, Fountain says, is mitigation. This includes mask wearing, social distancing, and sanitation stations. In addition, schools like Thomas Elementary have created new ways to serve lunch. If you look behind me, you'll see that we have two rows of tables that are set up for each classroom. And the students come in and sit in the same seats daily. And they know by, based on the markings that we have where to sit. In the classroom, protective shields have been added between seats and even bathrooms have been made safer. They have um, lights outside of the bathroom that the kids tap on and off with their elbows to show whether there's a space in the restroom for them. Schools have created isolation stations for students who may be sick. And there's a new system to ensure students don't spread the virus. Fountain and Biggs agree that students have been following these new rules well, but other challenges, such as introducing kindergartners, sixth and ninth graders to their new schools, couldn't be helped. It was their first time being on campus, so getting used to the bigger buildings and walking through that orientation process has been important. So this could be called test week, not for students, but for the district's efforts to keep kids safe. So far, it appears so good. Aaron Vitito, NAZ Today. The CDC recently changed its guidelines for schools saying social distancing for students can be three feet, not six. The district says it hasn't had time to evaluate the new standards, so it's staying at six feet for now.